Hi guys, welcome back to another photo card storing video. I'm just gonna get right into it. So here is my pile of cards. I pretty much decided to focus mainly on like my top groups photo cards. So there's a lot of groups um, I stopped collecting the photo cards of. Not really stopped, but um, I kind of pushed to the side and decided to maybe go back later once I caught up more on my main groups, if you know what I'm trying to say. So yeah, um, here is my pile of cards. And we'll start off with shiny. Um, my window is behind me, so I don't know if there's like some sort of a shadow here. This is how I used to film them without a studio lighting, so I'm hoping it's okay. All right, where are we starting? I don't even know, because I've completed their Japanese cards, if you remember last time when I got that. Well, no, I have not completed their Japanese cards, clearly, but these are going for really expensive. I'm glad I started collecting these right away because I got them for good prices but um yeah and also it's it just happens to be Tamin that I'm missing and he's the most expensive for those cards so I'm kind of crying about it but oh yes okay I can see I finally got this card I found it on Polka Market I actually really like that Polka Market I would recommend it <laughs> these are all my shiny cards um I actually have if you remember last time I have a little tiny binder for pob photo cards for shiny so these are all in the smaller sleeves because they go in the smaller binder i'll put those in the pob binder but these are all the cards that will be going in this binder where is that card here it is yes we got it finally it took me long enough but this is the key smcu express little id card all right so that is all complete finally it took me over a year to complete that obviously which is super annoying but we got it completed. This, I actually, um, I'm almost done. I'm only missing two more cards pretty much and I don't have them. So we're not gonna do this right now. <laughs> and then I have some merch cards. I actually, um, last time I put some of my merch cards into the little pob binder, but I realized, why did I do that? Cause they're not actually pobs. I keep merch cards in here because apparently people like my chaotic shiny merch section. <laughs> so yeah, we'll keep continuing to do this if you remember me putting these away before these are not pops these are all like merch cards so i will keep them in here this is my um little pink christmas section i only have two of the ones i pulled and i haven't really started with this so i'm not going to put them there it's just like kind of reserved for the pink christmas cards and i might actually have to create a new page then yeah we'll just add it right here before the two heart cards oh i forgot my pages oh no they're right here Worse. That is actually triggering. Um, yeah. <laughs> Alright, you didn't see that. I also have these for March cards as well. We do love how that all fits on one page. It's a lot to explain what each pob is, but they all came from some sort of merch. SM always does like cute selfie cards with merch items. And you can kind of see on the back what they may have came with. I'm kind of going in a weird order, that's the word. I'm going in a weird order. But now we're doing the um, album cards. I actually, no, I, I have one album card because it was gifted to me. I um, haven't really started on the hard cards but i bought a bunch of pobs i'm so weird that way yeah these are the cards i have one of them is an album card which i it's this one this is the album card and that would be this version right here we'll just put him here i guess there we go yeah i'm just really far behind on this this was a trade so it was this this is the digi pack I pulled way too many dupes. And this is the SM Mini. Okay, so at least the SM Minis are complete. And I'm missing the key digipack. I have an extra of Mino. If anyone wants to trade, please let me know. I would absolutely love to trade. But yeah, so I'm gonna start like buying these cards because we need to just get going with this and that's actually pretty much everything for 
the main shiny binder. Before we move to my little tiny paw binders, we'll move to the shiny solos binder. This also has EXO um, subunits and solos in here as well, but um, I don't think I have any EXO. No, I do. I do. We'll, we'll go to that later. Yes, key. Killer. I'm hoping it's not a dupe. I was looking at it. I was like, wait, do I have this? But it's looking like it's not. So I also have this card right here. I think this is the CRT version. No, it's not. It's the game pack. And that completes that. So I'm missing the third CRT version. I swear I had it, or maybe I just recently bought it. I don't know, but still missing that. And I actually recently bought, I think it was, oh, it was either the other SM Mini or the other QR. So I'm still missing one, but yeah, we're almost complete this. <laughs> and I actually forgot completely to set up for Key's Good and Great album as well as Tame and Guilty. I'm so annoyed because like I thought I was being all prepared. So these are all of my, my good and great album cards. So these two are from the cover letter version. This is from this one and this is from the other one. And I think there's two each, I think so. Either that or three, I can't remember. Then there's the work report version. There's three cards and I actually have them all because I bought multiple copies. And then uh, this is from the, this I think is from the QR and this is from the SM Mini, I think so. So that's pretty much all the album cards I have so far for Keys Good and Great. It looks so cute on the back, actually. And then we have Taman's Guilty album. These are all the cards I have. And again, I forgot to set up for this one. Going back for that, though, because I put the cards in, like, debut order. So we'll put his here, I think. No, it's not gonna... Oh, man, I was hoping he would do three cards for his next album that would just fit here so nicely but like <sighs> yeah that's we'll think of a way to fill that up these are all from the photo book version the two different types and then this is from the okay no this is from digipack i think this is from sm mini and then these two are from the box version got it i think so I'll obviously properly set that up once I get more of the cards, but that's that. That's it for the big binders. Now we'll just like put away my pop cards in the mini binder. So I originally had them in a different binder, but I left that at my house and I'm at my parents' house right now. So we're gonna have to put them in this binder. Um, I actually preferred them in the other one, so I might have to switch it later, but thankfully I did take these out because I ended up using it for transporting cards to my house. It's like, ugh. The struggle is so real. These are all pops. I believe this is a pop. Sometimes I get confused. I'm like, wait, was that a pop? So these are like all the pops I recently received. And yeah, we're going to just separate solos. Okay. These right here are all um, group pops from Hard Era. I guess I'll just put them in age order. Sure. <laughs> of course, I mainly have key pobs because he's my alt. <laughs> I just tend to like get his. Okay, I could not sit here and tell you what each pop is because I just cannot remember off the top of my head. But um, also another reason why I would prefer these to be in the other binders because um, they come with these pages already in there and they're double sided so I can just put them on the back because as you can see these backs are nothing to rave about. 
they're like all pretty much the same but different color they all just say hard so yeah they're nothing like super like pretty in design <laughs> um so more of a reason i'd like them to be in the other one so i'll probably eventually switch that and then we'll just do like the solo cards next i have a whole bunch of new ones here Okay, oh my gosh, <laughs> so this is already so full. I'm definitely going to switch it to the other binder because this does not hold a lot, as you can see. This is just, I mean, if you sit it in the middle there, it's fine. I just don't want the pages to get warped because when you open it up, it's like, eh, way too full. But anyway, so yeah, I kind of tried putting them in the album order as well. And yeah. That's the only bad love pop I have. I count those SM cards, like unboxing cards, as pops. I count those as pops. Anyways, yeah, that's we only have the one Tame and Pop there from Make Star for Guilty. But yeah, that's um, <laughs> that's this. I'm going to like switch this. Yeah, it's like so full, it can barely even like close, but. Yeah, I'll, I'll fix this later. I turned on my mini light here because it's getting a little bit darker. I'm hoping it'll... Oh, this is fine. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah, I have my EXO binder here. I do have some EXO cards, surprisingly, because they actually have come back this year, which is insane. Crazy. And if you remember, I did set up for this, but the crappy way with these little handwritten uh, sticky notes. And I actually don't have that many cards because, again, with this album, I haven't really started collecting the cards. Wait, where are my EXO cards? Not too many cards. I have Kyungsoo solo cards. And I also have some older cards. This freaking solo card. Oh my gosh. This is what I got. This one was gifted to me. Thank you so much. Yeah, the uh, regular photo book cards, I don't have anything of. That's fine. We have this human digipack card i don't know if this is helping or not i just moved the lighting but we got this guy sorry i also have this digipack which i traded for okay there's that so that's the digipack then we have the sm mini i have the last two which i needed and i traded for those as well So that's what one completed set looks like for Exist so far. SM Minis, all done. They're so pretty. And the reason why I have them all completed is because I bought everyone's SM Mini, so I just traded for the ones I was missing. The only other card I have for this uh, group binder is this Suo uh, Pink Christmas card. This was also gifted to me. And there is a spot for it. I kind of combined it with the SMCU cards because I wasn't really going to collect them for EXO. But yeah kind of what we got so far and that's actually it for the exo binder moving back to this binder which has um, a bunch of different stuff in here we'll skip over to the exo um, solos i am literally i feel like i said every time but i'm on the desperate lookout for these two cards <laughs> like they just don't exist these chen last scene cards I don't know why they don't exist. SM has been weird with the printing of their cards. There's some cards they just don't print. So I don't know. I've been even tempted to just go and buy another copy and see if I can pull it. I don't know. I'm like so frustrated over it. But if anyone has it, please let me know. Okay, so we have the last gray suit card, thankfully. This I also found on Polka Market. This was when I first started buying from Polka Market because I was kind of like not sure about them but then i saw this card in there i was like oh my god so it was the only place i've ever seen this card <laughs> nice 
Yeah, so I went and purchased that real fast when I first saw it. Finally, this album is complete. Oh my gosh. So satisfying. And yeah, I still need to finish Rover for Kai, but that's not a big deal. I feel like his cards aren't that bad. This card, though, it does not exist. It does not exist. I have not seen it on eBay. I have not seen it on Mercari Japan. I have not seen it on Polka Market. I haven't seen it anywhere. So please, if you have this card, please, 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 I'm begging you, please sell it to me. I've never been so desperate for a card, actually. And I forgot to set up for Dio as well. But he does not have that many cards. There's honestly, like, no huge deal on setting up. Because I think there's only two of this card, two of this card, two of this as a mini, and then two of the other. Just kind of put them all on, like, separate rows. But, yeah, we'll, we'll sort that properly. But that's all I have for him, pretty much. And yeah, that's actually it for EXO altogether, so we'll close this up. Next, let's do NCT, because I've been really focusing really hard on their cards, because I knew how, how behind I kind of was. Also, I split them up. This is literally just NCT 127. That's all this is. Oh, wait, so I should probably move this onto the other binder, because it has Kuna on the front page. But Oh yeah, this card, I don't know where I put it. I used it for a photo card, like to put in my photo card holder one day, and now I don't know where I put it. it. It's either in my room at my house. If it's not, I don't know where the heck it is, but anyways. Two baddies. We actually completed it. I don't have the cards with me that completes this, but I did complete two baddies. It's insane. This era stressed me out so much, and this era was the reason why I kind of fell behind on NCT, because it was just getting too much for me. But I caught up. I caught up. I was determined. <laughs> I was really determined. I believe that's all the two baddies cards. Obviously, as I said, it doesn't complete this. This I accidentally marked off my wish list, but I didn't actually buy it. So it's in my like hearted section on Polka Market. So I'm going to purchase that real soon. But I got this card right here, this HN. These right here. I'm gonna assume that's these. The Digipack Korean version. It's looking like it, yeah. Alright. Yeah, and these are just like other Jaehyun cards I kind of stuck there. And then these are other kind of cards that I pulled. I'm not collecting out of my just keeping, so it's kind of just that. But yeah, so we're we're only missing two. That Jaehyun and this tail, and I don't know, I thought, I swear, I, I swear I had this one, but... Anyways, moving on from two baddies, I started collecting a lot from AO, because I was behind on that as well. These are all of the AO cards I have so far, and I even bought some more after this. I guess we'll sort them. That's the Digipack, that's Photobook A, and that's... Photo sorry, that's Photobook B, that's Photobook A, and that's SM Mini. Alright, so we'll start with A, then B, then I think I did Digipack, then SM Mini. Alright. Oh nice, I have the whole digipack um, section completed. I didn't realize I bought them all. So that is what my AO collection is looking like so far. I'm not collecting big items like this. It's no biggie for me. I'm like getting so excited for collecting NCT now. I was really in a funk 
for collecting NCT during Two Baddies era, that era really pushed me back so much and I was so like put put off or I don't know if that's the word I kind of was I was a little put off collecting NCT because of two baddies SM just did way too many cards and it was way too much for me but I when I catch up I'm now like excited to collect um the rest I recently saw NCT in concert in Japan and that's just like not that I could fall any more in love with them than I already am but you know I just get extra hyped for collecting a group once I saw them in concert a lot of people might understand but yeah i'm just totally in for collecting nct so we got this <laughs> i'm more um motivated to collect them okay so and i did properly set up for fact check these are all of the regular album cards that i have for a fact check i have a lot of this chandelier version because i bought lots from make star I notice I pull them all in the same age order. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I have for the chandelier version. Those are all from Pulls. I have a dupe, by the way, of this Jonghoo, so if anyone wants to trade, but I will post on my sale and trade Instagram probably like tomorrow. I only have one for the storage version. I actually bought two, but I pulled a duplicate of this as well. So if anyone would like to trade. That's my sad looking storage version. <laughs> also, I hate that SM did the same backs for everything. The photo book, storage, oh, by the way, exhibit is the poster version. Poster version and SM mini, all the same backs. Like these are all the other backs, all the same. Like why, they did not try at all for this era. Anyways, then we have the exhibit version, which is again, the poster version. I have these three. And then I did set up for the SM Mini. I haven't even bought the SM Mini yet. I didn't buy the NCT Dream Eyes TJ SM Minis either. And I was gonna buy them all together and then open them in an Instagram reel or something. I think that's why I was holding off on that, but. So we don't have anything to put away for that. And then I set up for the QR version for everyone. I'm not sure if I'll actually collect everyone's for the QR version, so I'm not too sure, but I pulled Taeyong's, so at least I got his out of the way. I actually pulled Taeyong in every single version except for the storage one. And then there's also this card from the QR version, but I sleeved it because I was going to put it in here, but I did not set up for that because I'm not really collecting these. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this, but anyways. And I actually set up for perfume too for Dojeja. So we'll put their cards away as well. Oh, by the way, I have these pobs for NCT fact check and they're going to go in their own section. I don't have that many... NCT Dojejang cards anyways. It's just these and this one's a pop so that goes in a different section. Pretty much just these. This is the only one I bought and then I traded for these two. We'll just put him here I guess. I'm the most behind on the photo book version. I bought a lot of the box and like digipack ones and I believe this is... No, I'm not sure. Hold on. At least the backs are... Okay yeah this is the box one. I bought this Jehan box. I actually accidentally bought this one twice, so if anyone wants to trade, but I've been finding it really hard to do these trades for a perfume. And I don't have anything else for here so far, but I have this photo book unit card. I was going to put it here because the other one is different. Like these two are uh, vertical and the other one's horizontal, so it's the one different one, so I'll put that one in the middle. And yeah, that's pretty much actually it for perfume. <laughs> don't have too much. Oh yeah, these are the pop sections. I was actually thinking of putting NCT in a little mini binder for pops, like I do for shiny. Sorry, they're like totally out of order. And I'll just stick this here too <laughs> until I find a place for that. And I have this like one 
Kate Williams. We'll just, I don't know what's missing there. Something is missing there, I feel like. Oh yeah, these are the Kate Town for you cards, by the way. They just fit nicely to end off here. So that's what's going on there. Yeah, it's a little chaotic right now. And these are my Taeyong Chalala cards. I sorted them in here properly. I actually did that off camera, so I'm really sorry that did not make a storing photo cards video, but yeah, and then I have that's actually it for NCT127 because that that's all that's in here. So we'll close this up. I was getting a little confused. I was like, where's my NCT Dream binder? It's right here. I think this is actually like I don't know now. Oh, maybe wavy. <laughs> I actually completed the candy cards i was trying to find trades but you know what it's at this point it's a little too late to find trades so i bought those two cards and i bought this card so that's complete i just wanted to get that over with then we have istj i'm gonna have to start buying the cards for these two we're just at a point where trading is a little difficult oh wait i don't have anything <laughs> the only thing i have are these two cards and they're just like american store exclusives this one is the Target exclusive, and this one is the Walmart exclusive. So I don't really know where those are going right now, but this is what I have so far. Set this up properly. I bought um, one vending machine card, and I think that's about it. Yeah, for this one I also have no SMNEs. Yeah, that's kind of what this is looking like. I'm just going to go ahead and add the new wavy cards here. I never really set up for their last album because I thought I was going to stop collecting them, but now I kind of want to pick wavy up again. So I have these two cuties <laughs> from the last era. But I have a bunch of cards for On My Youth, so here they are. These. These right here are all pops, but these are all album cards. These three are from the photo book, so we'll, we'll start with those, I guess. This one is from the diary. And these are from the SM Mini. Yes, those are all of the On My Youth cards I have so far. These three are from With Mew. And then these two are from K Town for You. And then I'll just like make a whole page for fandom. I actually made placement paper things for this album back when it released, but I never put them in here because I was like, do I want to collect this? And now I kind of do. <laughs> then I have NCT Full Group Golden Age. Yeah, I do want to collect that, but I'm putting that on a lower priority. <laughs> we can put them in here. There's a lot, but I have like... It's there's a lot. These are the regular Korean archive version, which is like the regular photo book cards. These are the archive photo book cards, but the Japanese version. I actually had to leave because family came home and I didn't want to film when it was loud. You don't want to know why the background is different but I guess it's pretty clear that I took all the rest of my binders to my house to film the rest. And it's like almost midnight right now because the people that live upstairs had some sort of party or something. So this is the whole reason why I usually film at my parents, but there's another story on why I decided to film here. And it's just, <laughs> sorry about this rant, but this is why I wish I lived on my own in my own apartment. But this is the sad reality. I was in Japan and I got them at the NCT concert with the lucky draws which I'll also put in here collector cards these are the ones I pulled I pulled an extra of this Renjun so if anyone wants to trade for another member do let me know but these are the Korean versions I actually am not collecting the Japanese cards obviously and once I um set this up properly these are just going to be on another page of just cards I'm random randomly keeping also would you believe me if I said I'm already running low on these. I think I only have like six left maybe. <laughs> I'm hoping I can actually film this with enough pages.
there's also these and these which I don't really care too much about to be honest but I'll I'll put them in here <laughs> I swear I pulled Wavy so much for this album. I basically just put those in there randomly, honestly. These are my Japan exclusive Lucky Draw pre-order cards, whatever you want to call them. Yes, I actually originally pulled Jungwoo, but I traded my friend for her kun because like jungwoo is like one of her alts and kun is my wavy bias so even though jungwoo is also one of my biases i was like okay i'll do it for her <laughs> this is my very disorganized golden age <laughs> section again i will sort that properly but you know what i'm putting golden age i can't remember if i said it earlier today when i was filming but I'm putting Golden Age on like a super low priority. I'm focusing more on like 127 and Dream, then Wavy, and then this. So yeah. Also, I forgot to put these away. So I'm just going to add them here with like these cards. Well, I mean, I'll add them here. I don't know. I really don't know what to do with these. These are like pobs, so they actually shouldn't go here because these... Are they? No, they're not technically pops, because if they were, they'd be an extra card that comes with the album. But this is the Target card and the tar or the Walmart card, so this is just for now. Anyways, oh, I also have more stuff. This is like kind of merch and pre-order. It's this this whole binder needs like reorganizing. I have okay that this is like all dream mainly. Yeah, this is like except for this. So this technically should go in the one two seven binder, but we'll keep it here so this was actually from the um nct pop-up shop in japan it was like a random card and i pulled hey jen so that's what this is this is obviously like sanrio merch and all this is like um well yeah this is all of this comaz merch these were from like the random photo card packs one was green version, one was orange, I can't remember. And then this is from the little figure. Yeah, we're just gonna stick them all back there. And yeah, that is pretty much everything for NCT. Let's do this binder next. So I was actually reorganizing my binders. This used to be Red Velvet and Itzy. Now it's just Red Velvet. I really, I'm just gonna take these, these pages off to be honest, but... Now it's just red velvet because at this point it was getting a little bit full and we don't like that. <laughs> I don't want my pages to warp. Obviously I don't have their new album cards because I didn't even receive my album yet sadly. I actually know it's annoying but I have half of their album with me right now. I haven't even taken it out of the box because it's literally just half of my order. I had to order the other half from a different site because it sells limited bag ones and they were getting sold out everywhere and that hasn't even shipped yet so it's kind of frustrating. But yeah, you know what? Anyways, we're not going to get into it. We have now finished birthday. I finally got this Irene cake card. Here it is right here. Yes, this iconic moment right now. Done. Birthday is 100% complete. Just in time for chill kill. <laughs> That's going to be a fun time collecting. Especially those limited bag ones, because I will be collecting the cards for that. And I wish I actually bought extra copies of that one, but that's just me being stupid. That's it for that. And then I have one more card for Red Velvet. Yeah, sadly, I don't have too much for them. One of these case version Silgies, and I have this one right here. And I actually just bought the last one just the other day. So this is pretty much complete. Alright, so just gotta wait for this one in the mail, and then... Solos are 100% complete. I'm always pretty on top of Red Velvet, to be honest, so that's good. <laughs> Alright, so that's actually it for this binder. Let's do Stray Kids next. This, yeah, this used to be overflowing, if you remember last time, but um, I kind of took some cards out. These are pretty much just cards I collect. In the back, I had other cards that I put in here and just kept and did whatever with, but now I took that out, and this is just 
cards I collect. If that even makes sense. <laughs> because the this was getting so full up to like here. It's even warped the front page if you can kind of see. Like it's kind of bent up here. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. But I might have to replace this page. By the way, I've been collecting all members of Stray Kids since the pre-debut album. <laughs> like that's how I have all of their cards. Because I was just on top of it since the very first album released their pre-debut album i've been on top of it i'm sorry i i really just need to cut these white papers to put in the middle i believe these are all the cards that will be going in here some is mixed of five star and the latest album okay why don't we just sort it then we got this guy i am missing these cards and i still have a couple cards i need to trade so um, please look on my sale and trade Instagram. Um, I do have a post up, but I might redo it. I would like to trade my dupes for the cards I'm missing. I'm still missing this Felix as well. I really would like to have it from a trade. So please check my Instagram out. And then I have these three. And I believe I'm missing this Sungmin as well, so please do let me know if you'd like to trade. These are obviously the cards I traded for. Where did I put them? Oh, they have to be in this pile. I don't have my original cards that I pulled from my albums. It seems like I left them at my parents' house. <laughs> I'm going to assume these are the Digipack cards. And then this one is the pre-order digipack, which I didn't do labels for. That's annoying. But anyways, we'll have to move on to Rockstar, their new album. These are the cards I have. I already sorted them, looks like it. I also have a couple dupes of these cards. I have a dupe of this one, and I have a dupe of this one, if anyone would like to trade. That's that. Then we have the postcard version. I also have some of the, well, I have almost all of the Unit cards, I'm dismissing the Hyunjin and Jisung one. I did make one of these for these, but they're just kind of left on their own right now. These are the postcard version cards I have. I also have an extra of this one if anyone would like to trade. Okay, that's that one. And then we have the POB version. I also have an extra of this one if anyone would like to trade. And the headliner version I did buy, but it's still in the mail. And for some reason, the seller sent it with a shipping that is so slow. It's been like two weeks and it's hasn't even left Korea. Like, I don't even think it's left their their shop since they shipped it. So I don't think that's arriving until like mid-December probably. And this is with it as well, the headliner version. And also some other postcard versions are with it. So stay tuned for that. I'm just gonna for now, because I'm running really low on pages, I'm just gonna stick these in the middle here. But that's just only because I'm running really low on pages. So we're just going to stick them in the middle here for now. But yeah, I will eventually fix that. But yes, that is everything for Stray Kids. Well, it's not. I have some other cards, but I moved it to a different binder, so we'll get to that in a second. This is now my Itzy and... Stray Kids other cards. 
binder. So let's just, since we're doing Stray Kids, we'll just skip to the end of this binder and just add these extra cards I have. Um, yeah, so these are merch cards. Yeah, we'll just like, this is like all my random merch section. Yeah, we'll kind of just, this is a season's greeting, so we'll add it right after their other one. Yeah, I've actually had these for quite some time now, obviously, since like pretty much the beginning of the year. I just never put them in my binder. And then we have the pre-order card. I'll just stick that in the middle. This is the like sleeve it came with, so it has this on the back, which is so ugly, but <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right, that is that. And yeah, everything else I have for Stray Kids is like pre-order cards, but I'm just gonna save that for another time. <laughs> but let's um actually skip to the beginning, or we'll skip to the itsy section. This is itsy now, and we'll start putting away their cards i think i might have some cheshire cards with me but or i don't know if i will i don't know if i have any cheshire cards no i think it's actually all kill my doubt yeah i don't have any cheshire cards and i'm not finished it but i recently bought some so next next video you'll see it but we'll just start putting them away for kill my doubt so yeah they did lots of cards obviously no shocker they're standard a b c d and there's like limited and I only did up to like the limited. Oh, and the cassette. That's all I did. And yeah, so these right here are MMT pops, but these are up until here are the regular album cards. So yeah, let's just sort them. I'm not sure actually what's considered A, B, C, D. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'm really, I can't remember. Can't remember. I think this might be a... I actually don't really care. I'm going to do it in the, the order I want. <laughs> so we're going to do this one first. We're going to say this is a... Do I have everyone? Yeah, I do. Whole member set. And we'll do this Band-Aid one next as version B. So I'm missing Chaedong for that one. And then version C. Obviously, if there is an actual like order for the versions and I did them wrong, I'll fix it. I'm going to do this one next, the flower headband version. So far I've been Yeji and Yuna blessed. I have theirs for everything so far. And then for the version D, we'll do this one next. Okay, and then we have the limited edition cards. I only bought one copy, so this is all I have. So there's the limited selfie and the limited camera version, as you can see. Yeah, so I still have a couple extra cards I need to trade. So um, again, if you'd like to look on my Instagram, but oh, I love the backs of these so much. They're so cute. And then I also have these from the special version. I actually am not collecting these, so I'm just going to add them to this page of other special cards. Oh, but it's full. And I'm running really low on pages. So we're just going to stick them here for now. Only because I'm running so completely low on pages, it's not even funny. Okay, we're done with Itzy now. I literally have two pages left. I hope I don't have to use them. 
Now we'll move on to 17. This used to be Monstax and 17, but it's now just 17 because as you can see, they have a lot of cards and it's already starting to become really full. Okay, here we go. I actually don't have that many, but yeah, these are all the cards I have for both Face the Sun and um, the one with World as the title track. I'm blanking so bad right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing that Joshua for some reason, for some sad reason, but I've now completed Jung-An for EP1. So sad. Oh my gosh, okay. Do I have this Joshua EP2? Seems like I'm still missing this Joshua as well. Cries. <laughs> um, I think I'm still missing this one as well. Don't have that. But I do have this one, which is right here. Okay. Just want to make sure it's different. Okay, it is. We're good. And... Oh, did I buy a card I did not need? Oh my gosh, it looks like I did. I did not need this card. We're only missing two Joshua cards. EP3 and EP2. Oh no, we're also missing the EP1. So, we're missing three Joshua cards. Why was he the most difficult? No, Wanu was. Wanu is the most difficult. Um, okay, so I actually have the Jung'an Weaver's cards for this era. I don't have this card though, sadly. We're just gonna take Sir out of here. Okay, so I'm gonna see if I can try and find this card. Just, I, I really don't care for these, but just because it fits so nicely on one page. I'm gonna see if I can try and find it, but these are pretty much all complete. And then we have Sector 17. We got cards right here. Let's, okay, I think, I think, yeah, I'm gonna fix this right now. I just moved the yellow compact card on this page so the concepts match better, you know? Um, clearly I didn't need this card either. What the heck? I'm- ugh, It's okay, I'd rather have an extra then. Wait. Oh yeah, this is this card. Okay, cool. I did need this one. Alright, so wait, what am I missing? Oh. Why don't I have this? I'm so confused, but okay. I'm obviously missing that card, but we're almost done this. And, um, I bought- what did I buy here? Don't need that. I bought one of Jung An's, um, is this the kit card? One of his Weaver's cards. So this is all in a weird order right now. And we're also gonna stick Sir down here. But, even though I don't collect him, it's just whatever. I pulled his cards and they're really cute, so. Okay, that's pretty much everything for 17 then. Oh, and I'm not putting the new cards. I'm not doing FML or their new album. I don't have enough of the cards, to be honest, to put away, so we're just not going to do it. Oh, and by the way, I have no Wanu cards at all, so we're not even going to do his little mini A5 binder. This binder has the boys in it, but to be honest, I think I only have one card. <laughs> one card, so was this binder even worth bringing over to my house? Because I'm very- this is a group I'm very- very behind on the collections the rest of the cards i have are pops and i ended up stopping collecting their pops because it's too much yeah that will be going on this first page we'll just stick him at the top so it kind of evens it out here and the only reason why i have this one card is because it was a trade yep i'm i'm just so extremely behind on this i know i have it all set up so i just should start buying the cards but i've been kind of prioritizing other groups but yeah that's it for this binder and then very last binder will do my other boy groups binder it's also very full so, but we don't have much to add in here i have these rise cards that we can just add in here right before the rose and i had the rose cards too but i ended up taking them out because not out because they're here but i left them at my parents house because I, I didn't ugh, it's hard to explain okay these are actually k time for you cards yeah as you can see song chan really wants me to buy him and collect him really badly <laughs> all right that's that i like the back of their cards yeah, that's actually pretty much everything. I'm in, I wish I had my The Rose cards put to put in here because there's so much room here. <laughs> oh, 
oh well. Anyways, I'm not putting away groups like TXT and um, like Espa and because it's just I don't have a plan for them right now. So we're just putting that on a hold, but let's end the video. So that was my photo card storing video for this time. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.